recording this started. This meeting is being recorded. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, let's go through and accept all the changes. Apparently I am not even signed in right now. Yeah, who put in Buckeye? I have no clue. That was me. I, I deleted okay. that. Okay. Well, I, I just was like, oh, do we have a spammer already? Wow. No, it was like self spamming. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, do we want to populate it with the issue and put the URL in before we release it to anyone else? Yeah, I think I'm going to ask Vinod to do that since he has to do yep. it for a bunch for evolution. Or two yes, for I have evolution to do anyway. two for evolution, one for value, and now this will be four. So I'll do all in one yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a repetitive task. And since Vinod's doing it anyway, I volunteer Vinod. <laughs> Very nice. I'll do it. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I'm assuming we can still go through and make some textual. Yes. Uh, yes, ab absolutely. I, sorry, yeah. I missed our last meeting, so I can go through and do just another round of. Yep. Does this that's make what, sense? Edits. I think I think we're doing that right now. Okay, I will add some.
Yeah, they are different, I think, Sean. Okay. Boom. Question answered. And I, I would, I would leave, and I do definitely include the labels vary by repository behind there too. On behind the second one, as well, or just where uh, it is? no, no, just where it is. Just include it. Just go ahead and straight include it. Um, on uh, that matter, I had wondered if we should put something similar up top in the notes section. Oh, okay. Just to kind of, it, well, I, I, I don't know, again, like maybe that's not the right place for it um, if we do have it there, but just acknowledging that each project has their own okay. mechanism. Um, so we could do that more generically, but we could also do it at the bottom with labels. Yeah. Because like the specific example that we have about a defect, considering consider it being resolved when mm -hmm. the issue is closed and merged and connected to the associated files, but that's only if that's the process your project follows. So it seems a little bit too prescriptive if that's not what they actually do. I think on the subject of tags, I don't mind a little bit of redundancy in here. I am changing all the pull requests to a change request to have a consistent language. Oh, thank you. Oh, I guess I could, because I just Sophia, do you think this comment is should be should be addressed in item one, or do you think it should be a separate item as I did it? Um, the, my comment. Yeah, should we add each project may have their own tagging? Um. Now nah, I can delete mine. I think I might just add to the existing one, for example. Okay. Just to. Just in case, like, I don't know. I feel like it's sure. fairly. Like, let's do this. So yes, I'm, I'm fine with that. Try not to close my own edits. I don't know how Zoom decides where its little bar goes when I'm sharing the screen. Seems like a random space generator. Do you want me to go in and accept the ones I'm comfortable with right now, Sean? Would that help? Yeah, that that would be good. Okay. Trying to. I'd say right now we don't have any visualizations for for this that are developed. Um, so given the metric release date of March 1st, are we comfortable going without a visualization right now? I think visualization is not required. If we have, we can incorporate. Yeah, I think okay. it can be updated later, but right now yeah. we don't have one. For visual, do you usually mean some sort of theoretical Graph. visual? or just like an example of what this would look like in practice? It's usually been an, an example, but a theoretical 
version, if you have such a thing, would be useful. Yeah, um, any also, any feature <coughs> that is implemented or even in a paper or anywhere, like just to conceptualize or help. Yeah, I think even if it's not in this tool yet, it's, yeah. it's there's a design that's useful. But I think given the timing, it would have to be, kind of have to have, have that in the can somewhere willing to share it. Um, I have another tool that provides a very similar metric. It's not the exact same metric, but it's also maybe a little bit too googly, as in it's one of our <laughs> projects. I mean, put it in there and we can see. Uh, I mean, can we cite the source to it? Like, or is I mean, it there's internal? A, there's a it's a GitHub page, so it's a there's a public oh. project. Um, okay. I think okay. the, the problem is that the project is set up to be deployed on BigQuery, but in theory, you could point it to any SQL database. Okay. Uh, hmm. Not sure why that. Oops. Sorry. It's not exactly the ones that they have automatically pulled are lead time to change and median time to restore. So it's usually looking from the I deployment. You add the link. Did, did I? Did I? Re, did you paste it as a comment and then I checked it I off? I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was uh, sorry. I just I did that. No, it's okay. I put it in the text. Harder okay. to kill. It's well, not exactly. I thought I was accepting a change, but I was dismissing a comment. <coughs> your, your delete three paragraphs muck up the formatting, so I'm going to reject that and just do it on delete. Yeah. Okay. Right on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think this the graphic is um, actually doesn't it doesn't distinguish whether it was a defect resolution or a feature. So it's not. So the one that's yeah. closest is which is why maybe it's not it's not yeah. perfect because it's automated to set up time to restore service. So it's looking between the deployment time and the medium time to resolve the defect against since it's been an an active deployment. Okay. So it's more about service failure and change rates versus code base failure change rates, uh, which is a mild distinction. But given, I mostly wanted to link to it because you can change that as a user. So depending on yeah. what's in the pipeline, it's all customizable. This is just what's canned out of the box. Um, so it's just another tool to play around with. But it's also not part of this project. And again, it could be a little bit too googly. So I'm completely fine to strip it out. I just wanted to throw it in as another reference. I guess I'm not understanding the, fi the the filter aspect here. I'm having the way it's being expressed. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Quite okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'll... I hear you. Um, so there was if when there. So when is it? We only kind of know when a defect is identified and how quickly it's resolved if there's an associated issue with it. Mm -hmm. And so one, one filter would be to just look at the defect resolution where we have associated issues. And the other would be some indication of what percentage have no declared issue. And then maybe filter on, so as change requests that don't have an issue associated with them, you know, what's the volume there? Mm -hmm. Because then we have, if there is no issue associated with it, unless there's a tag on the pull request, which is another thing that we could 
filter on like its defect resolution. <coughs> um, so I guess, yeah, defect, if a defect resolution is tagged on the change request, then it would serve, we could filter on that similar to how we filter on issues that have associated pull requests that fix them. Let's put the, let's put the second bullet first. Okay. Okay. Because that first one just completely confuses me right now. Yeah, you could you could limit. Yeah, you, yeah. Okay. You could even actually like um, maybe put that one at the bottom. Let's take and delete this one. So, I have potentially a better visual if we want to do a Grimoire Labs one. Oh. Um, so right now one of our CAN dashboards for the Chaos Project is maintain a response to merge request duration. Um, so if if we filter this by an issue tag, if we can. So basically mm. that link that I shared is just response time. This might, might be nicer to show. Yeah, but that's just the first response as opposed to the resolution. Um, there's median time to merge, which is a separate dashboard. Oh, okay. Um, it's just whether or not we can, if we could filter this by any kind of like bug or issue tag, which I don't know if we do, then I think that's that's a better visual. It's also one of our projects versus another project. There's a, there's a tag there. Yeah. You. Yeah. Oh. There. I was doing the other one. Tag is one of is. the oh label. Wait a minute. Tag is it seem the tag seems to be pointing to repos. Yeah, that looks like a mm, yeah. Like, Maybe tag isn't what I label. think it is. Labels. There labels. we go. Uh -huh. Here we go. Labels is bug. Um, and I'm also doing for the pull request efficiency. Mm -hmm. So I think either one of those, um, the pull request efficiency oh. dashboard has the- That is not, not, not. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know how I did that wrong. <laughs> is one of bug. Oh, the fix. <laughs> Is there, did you put, you probably put a different one for the mm -hmm. actual dashboard that includes the merge time. Mm -hmm. So we can do that with a filter is bug or Label is bug. I mean, I would just do the little tiny box on the left time to merge, which is exactly the medium time to merge, which would be in line with our metric. Yeah. Please copy the link to yep, yep. the source. Why my finger hurt? Oops, hang on. Yeah, I'll get the link in there. Because I'm assuming the link will include my filters.
Hmm. The link didn't preserve my filter. So we might have to, I think you have to copy. There's a separate copy that's not just the URL. If you oh. want to share the dashboard you make. Where is that? Uh, share. Sure. sure. Yeah. Permalink. So I think if you do permalink, that should do it. Oh, nope, does not won't create a short URL. So if you put it in there, I can test it and see if it worked. Yep, it did. Jeez. OK, that's a big link. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, we would want to break that. I get a URL shortener going there. Their links are scary like that. Yeah, I. I... I had previously tied my Bitly account to my Twitter, and my Twitter got hacked a week Ooh. ago. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's just somebody was promoting NFTs and um, stocks. And I'm like, I don't even know how this happened, but I eliminated a bunch of them. Um, I guess uh, I would take NFTs over anything vulgar. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, I was fortunate that it wasn't uh, <laughs> vulgar. I feel like all the Zoom bomb, Zoom, Zoom bomb incidents I've been involved in have pretty somewhat gnarly. Yeah. yeah. No, this one was reasonably tame. I'm wondering if it makes sense to have any language in here that essentially absolves us from making the recommendation that projects should have SLAs because we don't want to make that recommendation and projects have their own operational cadences that like there, there is no such thing as an SLA in project, at least not that I've seen. And I know like, mm -hmm. it's, it's like now that we're entering into a land where if this was a proprietary tool, there would be an SLA for something like this, um, but there's not. And so I'm wondering if there's, it's worth adding some language around the fact that this is all volunteer driven and motivations around response times will vary by the commitment levels. Mm -hmm. Like just, but just like essentially trying to avoid the situation where someone who's not as familiar with how just the nature of open source projects that they're i, I don't know i feel like this is coming up a little bit more in my yeah. world it's sort of this expectation that oh you made this why won't you keep it working for me and for it's free. like well <laughs> there's no agreement like we don't have a contract there is no sla um and now that we're suggesting a metric that very much could be construed as that i want to make sure that we are not we are not stating that or we're not confusing people into thinking that they're applying SLAs to projects and project maintainers. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to do that appropriately. I'm just so, wondering if the group thinks it's worth writing something of that nature in here. So maybe add it to the notes as a separate point, like uh, as a 
number five points this is not to be treated as a SLA what is that so so it's so we're what we're saying is that this we are creating this metric but we have no intention that someone then take this metric and employs it as an SLA or employs it to measure an SLA they is can do it but saying? they can do I, I, it but it's not uh, like a forcing function for community because open source is a volunteer driven mm -hmm. Okay, so the the intent the intent is yep. just th that that this there's no judgment implied by this by whatever your I, I think that's is. a better way of sort of saying it. Yeah, <laughs> keeping the you know there's no judgment effectively here how people want to use it or there's no expectation of how people should use it. Yeah, I think it also implies a bit to look at the I guess maintainership size of a project when you're evaluating that metric so if the project has a lot or active maintainers they'll get results faster than a project that's just maintained by one person potentially yeah yeah i think that's probably I mean, I'm guessing here, but I feel like that's probably a metric that's coming out of the like the common working group in terms of like community size, but it has nothing to do with response times. But I feel like that could be a nice pointer to make that that connection. Sorry, I'll, I'll poke around before I pull things out of my I'm not saying the word. <laughs> There's like this random bolding that exists in some places in the document. Let's keep it interesting. Come on. Uh, we can remove these document note things here now, right? Yep. Yes, okay. yes. Just get rid of it. So I have tweaked the language. Just look at it. Uh, maybe it is what you are trying to say, Sophia. I agree. I like that. I was thinking um, in relation um, to 
please correct me if I see your name wrong, Renisha's comment on just community size and sort of impact on this. Um, I was thinking the two things we could do in filters would maybe be to link the related metrics that you might be tracking. So one of them is just population um, within the common working group. And I can put a link to that metric in here. That's just yeah. uh, that one as well as <clears throat> there are also other places where we see time to first response, time to close, pull request velocity. And basically those are just sort of operational indicators of projects. And we're talking about a very specific one as it relates to risk. But depending on the robustness of your metrics program, I would probably be looking at those in concert with each other, like we did with the Grimoire Labs tool, which is we're looking at <coughs> the medium pull request velocity to begin with, and then looking at bug and defect resolution as a related metric, because that'll kind of put you in the right time scale of like generally responsiveness and then responsiveness to defects versus if you're just looking at responsiveness to defects in a vacuum, it doesn't really give you a sense of the you broke around a project it could tell you whether or not the measurement is more or less believable because it puts it in okay. context with the broader operational component so i wonder if that should be a filter or in the sort of like references we could link to like other metrics you will most likely be tracking in relation to this one yeah or shouldn't you be saying affiliated metrics yes is there a place for that um yeah yeah, affiliated, related, or relative, or related metrics. Yeah, um, it could be in references. It could go there. It how go about into... synonyms? Can those be synonyms? No, they're not synonyms. No. It's yeah. more. Yeah, they're okay. they're sort of like it's things that you want to look at in conjunction with this. Okay. To I understand know. if to understand the the true picture. Yeah. Which I guess puts us more in like metrics model land than metrics. So maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <sighs> if there are, I guess if there are related metrics that you can think yeah. to think of, we should, could list them. <clears throat> Basically, um, issue responsiveness. One minor nuance to this. I'm trying to think if it's it's anywhere explicitly. Now that I'm recalling, I'm looking at it, not exactly distinguishing between the time that the issue or defect is reported and the time that the issue or defect is reported in the project. So an example is log4j. It was just a blog post in a CVE, not in the blog, blog4j project GitHub. So like there could be an announcement of a vulnerability or a defect that's public and announced, but not actually in the time, like in the direct context of the project. And so like that, you can't really measure that. Um, so if we do want to be more explicit, then we should provide the additional context of it being reported inside the project spaces. I don't quite know the right word. I don't want to say GitHub because that's too limiting. 
I recall this like says, in this in this says report of a defect to a project. Yes. Project. Okay. So you think that's and, that is implied in that? Yeah. And also it was like in the last discussion, I recall David especially posted that until unless it is reported on the reporting mechanism of the project, which can be GitHub or anything. If it is in a blog or somewhere it is reported, but it's not reported in the project, you cannot measure the time. Mm -hmm. So that's where we have added this particular like reporting mechanism using projects defect reporting mechanism. Oh, great. Okay. I see it. Never mind. Thank you. And sorry for missing that discussion last week. Yeah. Yeah. So just found That's a really so wacky cool. research paper by IEEE. Defect resolution on time is one of the overriding project goals. Apparently, there's a way to estimate this <clears throat> using cosine similarity. I don't actually know what that means from a technical standpoint, but I just thought that was fun. Means computer <laughs> science. <laughs> means uh -huh. computer scientists like math. Pretty yeah. much. <laughs> I mean, that's. That's all it means. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're being, but it is a good. I mean, it is. You know, there's that. That does. It does make sense to me intuitively that that would be useful, but it's not going to be trivial to get out of trace data. Yeah. No, hmm. it's just more if you want to go above and beyond and see if the things are behaving as predicted, which could be yeah. fun. If you have a lot of extra time on your hands. For sure. <laughs> I need know. to drop right now, but uh... yeah. I, yeah. I think I do too. So um, thank you, everyone. Uh, we have a metric Thanks. release good on yeah. us. And um, I'll move it forward then. Yeah. Thank you, Vinod. Thank All you. Right. Thanks, Vinod. Thanks, everybody. Thank Bye. Bye.